Hey guys, today we'll be making the cream puffs from Mashal. This delicious sweet will be the best pre-workout you can wish for. Before you know it, you'll be lifting hundreds of kilos in the gym. If that doesn't sound like a treat, then I don't know either. So yeah, let's get started. So, the first thing we'll need are some good quality vanilla pots. Most of the flavor will come from the vanilla, so make sure to get some good quality ones. We'll use a knife to slice it in half. And then, we'll scrape out the seeds with the back of the knife. It should look something like this. Next, we'll measure 2 cups of whole milk. Add the milk to a pan along with the vanilla seeds and the vanilla pots. Then, we'll bring it to a simmer like this. And now, we'll crack 6 eggs into a bowl. Separate the yolks from the whites. And then we'll add some sugar to a bowl, followed by some cornstarch, and we'll mix it thoroughly. Add the egg yolks to the mixture, and then start mixing. Mix it up until it gets this golden creamy consistency, like this. Then, we'll add the hot milk mixture we made earlier, to temper the eggs. Make sure it's warm, and add it little by little. Once it gets to temperature, then add it all and mix it up. We'll then strain it through a mesh sieve into a pan, and bring it to a medium heat. We'll keep stirring until it forms a thick paste. Once it looks like this, We'll add butter to give it a glossy texture. Add the mix to a bowl. And look at it jiggle like a... Mm, yeah, never mind. Cover it with some foil and put it into the fridge for a few hours. But before we do that, I want to tell you guys something about the sponsor of this video. Tokyo Treat. Tokyo Treat is a subscription service that sends you Japanese snack boxes right to your home. Every month you get 15 to 20 Japanese snacks from rare Kit Kat flavors like this hazelnut Kit Kat I got to exclusive Japanese drinks like this mystery Fanta which tasted very refreshing. You also get a variety of snacks like these chips and cakes. They choose snacks from different cities each month with this month being the city of Akiba. They explain their choices and what each snack contains in this booklet. If you're interested in getting a box, use my link in the description below, as you'll be helping out the channel tremendously. And now we can start with making the vessel for our cream puffs. We'll start by adding butter to a pan. Once the butter is melted, we'll add water, sugar and salt. Let it get to a boil like this. And then we'll add flour and mix it around until it forms this homogeneous roux. Add the roux to a bowl, then crack two large eggs and mix it into the roux. The first time I made this recipe, I used three medium eggs. This time, however, I had larger eggs and I didn't take into account the size of the eggs, which is why it became too loose and I had to thicken it with flour which resulted in the cream puff being more on the cakey side later on. We'll now get a piping bag and fill our batter into it. Then we'll pipe it onto a oven tray, making beautiful circles like this. Then put it into a 220 degrees oven for 20 minutes, then 180 degrees for 15 minutes until they turn beautifully golden brown, like this. And now, we'll get our filling out of the fridge. It should have turned gelatinous like this. Just simply whisk it up until it becomes creamy again. 
And now we'll slice the puff into two and then we'll fill it up with our cream. Once she's filled with cream, we'll crown our queen. And then we'll make it snow on her with some powdered sugar. And that's it. The cream puff for Mashal is done. Now it's time to taste. Wait, what is this? I'm getting this sudden urge to lift some weights. <laughs> wow, that was refreshing. So yeah, aside from the mistake of adding too much eggs, it still turned out amazing. So I definitely recommend making it. And as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a nice day.